Okay, 10% of this, I guess. Sure. But this is one that's extra loud. Isn't it? Yeah, this will work. Alright, hello everyone. Welcome to Bart and the Hustle. I didn't realize I had to turn it down that low. I might have to turn it up a little bit in the game though, so I'll see. Hello, hello. So this is a new one. It came out yesterday on the 27th. You know, since there's multiple timelines in the planet. <laughs> and it's a bartender simulator. I gave it a little go yesterday. I enjoyed it a lot. Let's take a look. Actually, the gameplay style reminded me a little bit of um, Bakery Sim, actually. Because you can just walk around and you need to take orders. There's just a little bit more storyline in it. No driving so far. Only drinking. There is alcohol in this game. Drink responsibly. And let's have some fun. New story, please. Yeah, pursue your career as a bartender in story mode. There's also free play. Aperitive. Okay, that's us. Hello, we're Amy. Out of work for three weeks and rent is due at the end of the month. If I don't pick up this job, I'll miss my rent payment for sure. They said to show up a shift for a shift tonight, so I better get moving. Let's see. Music player can be opened with M. Recipe book can be opened with R. Uh, laptop has features and you can change your clothing. Okay. Um, is that copyright? Oh, I should have tested that. That has a name. <laughs> now I'm worried. That's copyrighted. We'll see. Maybe I'll turn on uh, some of my own music in a bit. Oh, we have a kitty! The, the kitty named Ninja. Prr. Aren't you lucky to be inside in a night like a, on a night like this? Yes, he is. Just okay. It's the same thing. No petting. No petting. All right. Sit. Oh yeah. Here we go. Closet. So this is what we're currently wearing. The top's all right, but we could really use a new new pair of jeans. Obviously, we're not going to be spending our twenty bucks on clothes right now. Quick sneak peek here. That seems to be very impractical if you're standing in a hot hot bar drink, serving drinks. If I wear this, do I get more tips? I don't know. <laughs> this is just a thought. And shoes. Okay. But we're not going to be buying all that right now. Um... Oh, we have a very nice apartment. Wow, that looks great. That's a lot of food for a little kitty. I should toilet. Okay, so the question now is... Let's turn on the, mute, turn on the sound again. There we go. So is everything... Um, oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, that's how I turned off. Okay. <laughs> I can interact with everything. That's awesome. Look at this. Nuke box pasta. Perfect. Okay, I can bake stuff. Oh, no, I can only turn it on. See, it says bake on the oven. <laughs> no petting and stream. Let's see. Jasper Beer Garden. Uh, okay, this is then where we're going to be working. Bartender Quiz. What is the name of this cocktail? Uh, White Lady? No, it's the Godfather. Okay. I'm not perfect with... That's the exact same picture. It's an old-fashioned. No, it's a Godfather. <laughs> should have known. How much pineapple juice? 60. I don't know what it is. The horny bull requires... 
Uh, what's not in this cocktail? Uh, lime soda. Oh, four more for a bonus. Okay, let's go. Uh, not just the uh, gin ricky. Sambuca. Sambuca doesn't mix with gin. What is the name of this cocktail? Aviation Woo Woo Gin and Sin. Aviation. No, it's a gin and sin. I don't know. Uh, how much creme de cassis? 30. No, 45. Uh, what's the name of this cocktail? Now, I haven't seen any of the recipes yet, so bear with me here. Uh, Moscow Mule? No, AMF. Never heard of it. How much lime juice? 45? No, 30. <laughs> it's the other way around. Scotch whiskey? What's the name of this cocktail? Manhattan? Yay! So what do we get for the bonus? Name of this cocktail. Um, hi no, it's a highball glass. The sea breeze. Sea breeze? Yes. What's not used? Um, it's a yellow bird. Let's go with creme de cacao. Because <laughs> it never never be that color. So we got oh we got ten bucks. Okay. Well, let's go play the game first a bit so we know actual answers. All right, we're in Whiskey's Pub. This is Nora. Bernie. Amy, right? That's me. Yep. Nice to meet you. My name's Nora. I've got a couple of other candidates lined up for this job. So we'll see how you do tonight and go from there. Do you have any experience bartending? i got a bit of learning to do, but I think I can handle the basics. That's fine. I can teach you how to mix a drink, but I need someone who can connect with the customers too. Whiskey's is known for its friendly service, and we need to maintain that reputation. Oh. Hey, Karsten. Hello, Sir Hamilton. It's in Nightmares here, and Navi. Apex. Rob and Anti are here, too. Oh, Big Herc up there, and Sweet, I see. Hello, hello. And already 10 likes. Thanks, everyone. We haven't even started yet. Alright. Yeah. Connect with customers. Got it. No problem, I can take care of the customers. We've been closed for the past week and make some equipment upgrades and tonight is our reopening night. It's a cozy looking bar. Looks like I have everything I need here. We got beer tabs. Yeah, those are brand new. Some of the other equipment here probably won't use very much as this bar. Flaming drinks and high-end cocktails were never very popular at this establishment. Flaming drinks? Yeah. I'll show you another time. We have a fairly simple beverage menu at this bar. Alrighty. I've got my hands full running my new bar down the street, so I could really use a good bartender here. My family owns several bars in the area, so there's plenty of room for advancement if you can pull it off. That sounds like a plan. Alright, sounds good. What can I do for you? Let's start with something simple. Grab a highball glass. And fill it to the top with pale ale beer from the beer tap. Okay. Um. Highball. That's this one. Or the pale ale. That's this. There we go. 230 to 40 sounds about right. Perfect liquids volume, only one dollar tip. How dare she? My her own work. <laughs> Excellent, thanks. We usually start to get busy around this time. I'll bet you see your first customer soon, but you'll need to know how to mix a proper drink first. After that, you'll be on your own for the night. We'll meet here at the same time tomorrow for your review. I can handle a shift on my own. What can I get for you? A screwdriver, please. You can refer to the recipe while mixing the cocktail. Overpour slightly, don't sweat it, but your customer might reject your drink if it's not correct. Alright. Yeah, I already knew a little bit. So, what we can do is we get our recipe book. Um, 
Uh, sorry, it's, it starts with an S. <laughs> Screw that. Okay, here we go. All right. Vodka, orange juice. Got it. Take a highball glass. Oh, it's already highlighted. Vodka, here we go. 60. Oh, a little bit too much. Uh, that's apple. Orange. 120. And then it said orange wheel and a medium straw. Orange wheel, got it. We have a lot of ingredients here. Raspberry, pineapple, cherries, blackberries, lemon wheel, olives, strawberries. Here's some twists. So we need a medium straw. And then here's all the alcohols. Use your imagination. The gin, hacha, blackcurrant, coffee liqueur, cinnamon, maretto. Here's the sodas, tonic, cola, and ginger, beer, lemon juice, almond syrup, and uh, yeah, we call it grenadine. Grenadine, I guess in English. The shaker got some fruit juices and ice. I forgot the ice, didn't I? Yep. Oh, that's fine. We'll add it now then. <laughs> I was supposed to add that first, but it's okay. There you go. Alright, well, uh, you enjoy your drink before work, and uh, I'll go talk to this uh, handsome fella. Marcus, hey there. Hi. Welcome to Whiskey's Pub. This is my... Hold on. Press tap to see... I'll check in a moment. This is my usual spot for a drink. I had a late night tonight, though. I won't I won't make it there tonight. What's your usual spot? Hotel bar a few blocks away. I just spent the last 12 hours in the emergency ward, and my next stop is home. I never noticed this place before, so I figured I'd check it out. We just reopened tonight. You work in a hospital? Yeah, emergency ward doctor. 12 hours in the emergency dark I could ward. I bet you got some stories. What can I get you? I'd like to have a glass of red wine. Sure, come in. Alright, so now I do need to tap. Oh, okay. It just pops out the recipe. Thanks. I didn't realize that. It. I must have missed that. Okay, let's grab a wine glass. Can I just put it here? I can. Pop. What did it say? 150. A bit more. There we go. Two bucks, yeah. Thanks, this is great. You're welcome. My pleasure. Do you know it's not a good idea to reach in the, inside a spinning washing machine? Uh, yes, actually, I did know that was a good idea. Not a good idea, sorry. Recipe for wine, add grapes to a top and stomp. <laughs> Fair enough. It'll, you'll have to wait a little bit until it's ready, though. Never thought of it, but I found that at a young age, it's not a good idea to stick a knife in the toaster either. Oh, wow, she's smart. The patient suffered a close fracture of the radial and ulnar bones in the forearm. Could be fully recovered in six weeks with minimal long effects. Who knew doing laundry could be so painful? <laughs> oh, my God. We are fragile beings, but... Uh, though those moments of pain and suffering, through those moments of pain and suffering, we become strong. Would you suggest I reach inside the spinning washing machine to become stronger? No, I would not recommend that. We all learn from mistakes. But it's better to learn from mistakes of others. Fair point. As a child, my mother told me not to put my hand on the hot stove. So I didn't. Oh, that's, that's new. Most kids actually do do it and then learn. <laughs> Wish my mom told me not to stick a knife in a toaster. Oh my god. Well, now someone can learn from you. Say, bartender, how about another drink before I go? Turn me, what can I get you? I'd like to have a Cape Cod, please. Cape Cod? So, highball glass? Hello. Add some ice. Oh, whoops. 
cranberry juice. That's this one. 135. Oh. A lime wheel. And also medium straw. I almost grab the celery every time I need a straw. Go. Enjoy. Okay, let's roll with you. Lacey. Hi. Welcome to Whiskey's. I'm at a bar. I was on my way to the club, but I lost my twin sister. Have you seen her? Her name is Stacy. Stacy and Lacey. She looks just like me. Nope, I don't think I've seen her tonight. We just opened about ten minutes ago. Are you sure? Uh, yes. Here's a picture of her. She's on the right. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, they're complete opposites. Nope, haven't seen her. I'll let her know you were looking for her if she stops by. Guess I'll have a drink while I'm here. Can you make me a drink? Sure, I can make you a drink. What will it be? A gin tonic coming right up. Okay, then we're making another highball glass, more ice, a gin, 60 milliliters. Oh. Uh, tonic. That's a can, probably? Yeah, there we go. Lime wheel and medium straw. Oop. Alright, she's... Hello. Svetlana. Oh, she left a review on the laptop. I recognize her. Or a fork and a lightning suck. Yeah, that's also very good advice. <laughs> Thank you. Hello and welcome to Whiskey. I tried to visit the bar last night, but it was closed. Well, we just reopened tonight. I'll be your bartender. What can I get you? Red beer, please. Sure, one red beer coming right up. So, what do we need? Um, a highball glass. Uh, well, probably the red one. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Bloop! <laughs> and perfect. Oh, she left. Okay. Hit me 150, even though it was perfect. I like this bar. It's not a bad spot to have a drink, isn't it? No pretension. Reminds me of a bar back home. Okay, we're gonna get a whole story, aren't we? Where'd you from? Place far from here. Overseas. I've been here only for a month. It brings you to the city. I have no family. I'm the only one left. I felt like I needed to change my surroundings. Something to change the way I feel things. I'm really sorry to hear that about your family. Do not feel sorry for me. This Amy, no. It's just that I'm, sh I'm sure you must be going through difficult times. You don't say that, Amy. You think I'm going through difficult times? I don't know. Maybe. Are you? <laughs> I don't care. Uh, that's how I come to expect people in the act in these places. Never expecting anything bad to happen. What do you mean? Where I come from, we expect bad things to happen. It's inve inevitable that bad things will happen. Is everyone going to tell me their whole life story or what? I guess that, you know, it is a bartender simulator, isn't it? Don't you find it kind of depressing always expecting bad things to happen? It's not about expecting things to go wrong, it's accepting the fact that things will go wrong. It's a part of life. Move on. Why bother to try control things out of control? So, have you found a job yet? <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> kind of question. I work at a local motel. Housekeeping. Something to pay the bills. Do you like your job? I don't mind it. After work, I study. I will be a mechanical engineer one day. Good on you. Another drink. Sure, what can I get you? Okay, she wants a rum and cola. Get that. So obviously, this is the first level. We're just getting some basic drinks in. Uh, oh, there's the rum. Why is the rum always gone? Cola, that must be a can. Yeah, there we go. 
Oh. Dude bro sat down. No. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> that took a while. Oh, there's... Oh, hold on. There's still music playing, is there? Ah, let's just turn it on. If it's copyrighted, it's bad luck for me. Uh, there you go. But Lana wants to play tic-tac-toe. Who the hell plays tic-tac-toe in a bar? But okay. I win. Oh no, she wins. Ha, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Don't clip that. <laughs> Silly me. I should have put it next to her. Can I play again? No. Alright, let's talk to him. I was so focused on my own settings, I didn't watch hers. <laughs> that was silly. Alright, hi John. Just finished my two hour bicep blast. Do me a favor and make me a triple scoop protein steak, bartender. We don't serve that. Welcome to Whiskey's. Uh, we don't serve that, exactly. It's a bar. Did I stutter? Oh god. I gotta get to Flash Nightclub before midnight. Give me a damn protein shake now. Sir, language. As I said, we don't serve them. You better try... Uh, better off trying the drugstore around the corner. I'd be happy to make you a cocktail though. I need protein right now. <laughs> you know how sometimes you can force something to go your way, like pushing a door really hard to open it? Yeah, so what bartender? I can open any door I want with this beef. Oh my god. That kind of logic doesn't apply here. How about I get you something else? That's not a protein shake. But I think you like it. Or we're, we're making him a stay sober. Hey, Brock. Okay, <laughs> stay sober. That sounds like a good idea for him. Uh, apple juice? No, don't put it down. Four. Oh, that was not good. Uh, it still said okay. It's fine. Uh, cranberry juice? It's almost like the juices pour faster than the drinks. I'll need to watch that. Uh, ginger beer? 90? Glass is gonna be too full, isn't it? No. Nah. Sorry, I let go of my mouse. Yeah, that's true. Um... Orange wheel, medium strong. What a dude, bro. Yeah. Oh, it's still fine. Okay. Oh, look, it's uh, Stacy, the sister. Oh, let me just take a drink. That's a lot of chatting here. No, Rob, no. <laughs> Welcome to Whiskey's. What can I get you? I'd like a horny bull, please. Who doesn't? One horny bull coming right up. Uh, ice? Yes. A tequila gold. Yeah, that's this one. No, I'm just not paying. I'm not paying enough attention. Hold on. Orange juice. Come on. It's late, sorry. Oh, okay, so they're pores of three milliliters. That's actually good to know. Uh, lemon twist? A cherry? And a medium straw. A oh, dude bro ran away with uh, after his drink. Great, this is really good. Thanks, I'm glad you like it. By the way, do you have a twin sister? Yes, Lacey, why? I served her earlier, she was looking for you. Oh, that's okay, she's a bit of a free spirit. Aren't you gonna go find her? She's not at the bar, dance floor, or mezzanine lounge in the Flash nightclub. I'd be concerned. We go out a lot, but we're usually not found together. You not get along with your sister? Yeah, we're sisters, we're best friends, but also just different though. How so? 
She's high energy, I'm more relaxed. It's good to have someone to fill the void in your life. I see what you mean. I should get going. It was nice meeting you. What's your name? Amy, nice to meet you too. I am at the club with my sister most nights if you want to join sometime. Great, I'll make sure to say hello if I make it out to the bar. How about another- oh, I thought you had to go. Okay, well sure, another drink. Sure, uh, Cape Cod coming right up. Okay, Mr. Vampire entered the bar. <laughs> of course, we can't say that out loud now, can we? One, one boop? No, boop. There we go. Cranberry juice. A little bit more. There, perfect. A lime wheel. And a medium straw. Everyone, everybody gets a straw. A nice plastic straw. Oh man, that one was perfect. Now you can only try one buck. John Claude. John Cloud? I don't know. The calculations I performed on your demeanor as I entered the establishment indicate that you're of a class belonging to the novice mixologist. Hello to you too, welcome to Whiskies. I will offer you the opportunity to prove my assessment of your skill as Baltic. Okay, what can I get you? Make me my old favorite from when I was writing my thesis paper on advanced robotics. Number 58, a tequila sunrise. Oh my god, he's annoying. Okay. <laughs> so we start once again with ice. Quila Blanco. A little bit more. There you go. Orange juice. Ah, one four off. There we go. Uh, Grenadine? I don't know how to pronounce that in English actually. How much? 30. Perfect. So, cherry, orange wheel, and guess what? A medium straw. One tequila sunrise. The ice you are using is too cold. <laughs> That's stupid. Oh, and over 20 likes. Thanks everyone. I appreciate it. You thought the bartender made bars softer. Only snicker bars. The implications of such errors could lead to uh, senopalatine uh, ganglioneuralgia. I'm not repeating that. It's just an impediment of being human. Right. Maybe the remedy for that impediment is more alcohol. Funny. I suggest you upgrade your refrigeration unit to one that uses a deep learning artificial intelligence component. Oh my goodness. Can I toss him out already? I'll be sure to ask my boss about it. Anything else I can get you? A sea breeze, number 18. Your order is my command. One sea breeze coming right up. <laughs> Artificial intelligence <laughs> component in the fridge, yeah. Too many, it's okay. A uh, grapefruit. Ah, that's this one. One lime wheel and a straw. Catch. Shift complete. Alright, so let me see. I got 50 bucks in wages. Twenty-one fifty in tips. I spent forty-five on living expenses. Flawless surface bonus. Oh, nice! So we banked eighty-one bucks. Very nice. That was fun. Maybe I could make bartending my thing. I better get some sleep. Back at it tomorrow night. Ninja. 
Hey, I was planning on eating my dinner here tonight. So do I need to eat, actually? Um, I can't turn it off. Well, it doesn't seem like I can take anything out, so I didn't think I can actually eat anything. Special report. Alana Lester. I'm guessing we'll need to keep an eye out for her. Yeah, weather still sucks. Oh, we have some money now. I guess we can buy, like, something. Um, a new pair of jeans with no holes in them would be nice, I guess. Leggings. It's a shame you can't see them on. Or we can just go for the booty shorts, I guess. Oh, why not? Ah, they're a little bit too short, but it's okay. I'm not sure what we're going to spend our money on, so... Let's keep the rest for now. Yeah, it is fun. Okay, so saving we do at night. Got it. I feel like I'm in a, stuck in a bottle of cola. There we go. Alright. Hi, Ninja! No, it's, it's morning now. Uh. Okay, so I can turn the shower on, but I can't actually get in it. It's close. Okay, I showered. Let's go. <laughs> All right, let's see what she uh, has to say. Hello, boss. You must have done well tonight. We received some co uh, positive customer refu uh, reviews. I'm satisfied with your performance so far. Thanks. It was a busy shift, but I managed to serve everyone. You should get a variety of patrons at this bar. Um, I can't let you say that in chat, Big Herc, so I'm gonna have to hide it. But I agree. Every bar has a unique set of clientele. We get mixed back of customers here. We do get some belligerent patrons from time to time. Oh yeah, we sure did. There's a nine iron in the storage room if you need it. <laughs> Thanks, boss. You're the best. <laughs> I'm not really much of a golfer. Oh yeah, I get it. Oh wow, she's she's really smart, especially with that knife in the toaster. Well, I like having you aboard if you're interested in joining. Of course I'm interested. Let's take a drink for myself. Welcome aboard then. I'll leave you on your own for in a moment. How about a drink for me? What can I get you? A gin tonic. All right. The thing is, of course, she's going to be working at her other bar. So the fact that she's just in here. Hey, I know your face. You were on TV. That's uh, Al Alana. Well, we'll get to her in a moment. Let's. Uh, oh, wait. No. Ice. I don't think it matters if you actually pour ice uh, at the end. Uh, let me see. Tonic. There you are. Two boops more. There we go. It's actually quite frowned upon here if people who work behind the bar actually drink their own product, you know. But okay. Anna. Or maybe it's someone else. I don't know. Hello. Hey there. What can I get for you? I'd like to have a fruity beer. Sure. 
Uh, highball glass again? Yes. The fruity beer is the pink one. Like a grapefruit beer, I guess. I quite like a fruity beer. Yes. Thanks, I needed this. Long day. Oh, I'm sure you can relate. You're a bartender. No, barista at the coffee shop down the street. Front cafe. I picked up a latte there, there, latte there once in a while. I'll say hi next time if I see you. What's your drink of choice? A hot chai latte with an extra shot of espresso does me pretty good. That's called a dirty chai. Yeah, that, that I knew actually. <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> it just any of those any naughty words get blocked in chat. Dirty, yes, dirty. An extra shot of espresso, we call it dirty. Have you tried a Yorsch? No, what's that? It's a beer with a shot of vodka in it, sort of like a party drink. I often have nights where I'm working late and I end up at a party after work. Everyone's already been drinking, and I have to play catch up. It's good for to times like those. Well, I don't have a party to go to them tonight, but now I want to give it a try anyway. It's a strong one. One yours, please, bartender. Got it, coming up. Alright, so... How big is this glass? That's, like, that's a lot. So we start with... 30 milliliters of vodka. No, one boop. There we go. And then a pale ale. That's the blue one. Oh, it's 210. So it's actually less than the other beer. So keep going. We're gonna have to carry her home. Wow, it's a potent one, alright. Warned you. Told you. <laughs> Want a glass of water to chase it down? No, no, I can handle my liquor. How did you end up as a barista? Guess I finished high school and didn't really know what I wanted to do with my life. Most of my friends went to college, but my family didn't have the money for that. Couldn't you have gotten a loan? Maybe, but I don't think college is for me anyway. I like my job, I get to work on my feet, meet new people, make fancy drinks. I've got it pretty good already. Do you aspire for something better? Like what? I don't know, like uh, bartending? Something higher up the ladder, a higher paying job? Nah, as long as I have enough money to have some fun after I pay my rent and bills, I'm pretty happy. Some kind of romantic life is good too. The last boyfriend moved overseas to work in dentistry. <laughs> he barely had any free time to see me anyway. What about you? I haven't dated much since Collins, haven't even thought about dating lately. You should date that doctor, I mean. <laughs> He's pretty nice. I have recently a single co-worker you might get along with. Brad. Oh god, his name is Brad. I don't think so, lady. <laughs> I think you like him. Oh yeah? Want his number? Sure, I mean. Actually, nah, I'm pretty busy as this. <laughs> we don't want his number. Brad can go, uh, yeah. I'll just end up wasting his time, but thanks. No pressure. How about another trick? As strong as the last one? Let's take it down a notch. Surprise me. What are we making? That's not taking it down a notch. That's a whole splash of vodka. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> hey, Eric. Oh, wow. He looks angry. Okay. Oh, um, boop, boop too little. There we go. Primary juice. Grapefruit. Right next to it. A little less. And a lime wheel. And of course a strong. I don't see how this is much lighter than what she just had, but uh, you know, knock yourself out. Roy, make me a drink, would ya? 
<laughs> you, do, you totally don't look like that guy. <laughs> you bet. What can I get for you? A spruce beer. Be quick about it. Be spruce. One spruce beer. In your face. Listen, Tip. You must be new here. Welcome to the area. I think so. Reopening was just last night. I'm part of the local. Hold on, I need to blow my nose. Yeah, she ran away quick. Okay, that's better. I'm part of the local merchant protection group. I'm here to help. Oh boy. Oh yeah, help with what? Ever considered the implications and setbacks in your business? If a fire were to break out in this establishment overnight and damage the property, how would that affect your life? It would, probably wouldn't affect me a whole lot. I'm sure I can find the work somewhere else. Why do you ask? What about if an employee were in harm's way? What if someone were to throw a brick through a window and hospitalize an unexpected patron? Jesus. Uh, isn't that what the police are for? I'm too busy to think about all that anyway. My name is Troy and I'm here to let you know you don't have to worry about any of that. I'm here to help. Yeah. How much is it going to cost me? Uh, I'll let my boss know you stop by. Is there something I can get for you? Advise you to make good on that gesture. Get me a godfather. What a, what a jerk. Uh, oh, it's a Vox class this time. Finally a new class. Oh, it's him again. It's the snob. He's back. Uh, scotch whiskey. Oh, oh, that's a bit too much. Well, hopefully it'll make him piss off faster. Um, oh, right there. The downpour outside is relentless. It's not exhibiting indications of ceasing within the next 30 minutes. Yeah, it's been really pouring out lately, hasn't it? Until I acquire my metallic dermal sheet. I must shield my primitive human skin from the rain and its harmful contaminants. Oh my god. This is the reason why I've once again found my entity under the roof of this establishment. Metallic dermal sheet. Are you talking about an umbrella? It's just this guy. Yeah, he's the mafia guy, absolutely. You worked on the Godfather games, nice. <laughs> Jean is just a way into that weirdo, absolutely. Apparently he has an, uh, a robotics degree. I'll be happy to be your bartender tonight. What can I get you? I demand a dark and stormy number 58. It recalls my artificial consciousness to events similar to ones that are occurring on this night. Alright. Ice. Dark rum. One boop. Boop. Ginger beer. Oh, one boop too little. Yeah, there we go. But it is easier to do like one boop extra than to pour to the exact uh, lime wheel and medium straw. What a surprise. In your face. Your level of proficiency is amusing, but I will not relent. I will continue to challenge your aptitude until it reaches a sufficient level of customer satisfaction. I find that when people use the word amusing, they're rarely, rarely ever amused. Fair enough. You humans have a faulty- excuse me. Did you just say you humans? Are you an alien or a robot or something? Hey Blaze! Cyborg, exactly Cheetah, you must, <laughs> you must be correct. No, there's no timer. 
they, they, they do have a lot of yappy yap though, but that's okay. I don't know. Their storylines are amusing. Fun intended. Um, you humans have a faulty habit of over-exaggeration. Now make me one Bay Breeze number 43. <laughs> yes, I trust you will craft a superior libation. Thank you. Okay. We still have the same ice, so sorry. Uh, vodka? How much is there? Oh! Oh no, that wasn't good. Can I, can I empty it or something? Ah, we'll see. Uh, I don't know if, he know, he'll, if he'll take it now. I checked the amount and then that time it was already too far. Pineapple? Hold up, 660? Yes, 60. No. There we go. I hope he uh, accepts it. Otherwise, we'll have to make a new one. Oh. Okay, so no. So, but I didn't know how to toss it out. Oh, maybe in the sink. I'll, if it happens again, I'll try that. I forgot ice. You got me all confused. And who the hell complains about too much vodka in the drink? Okay. That was much better. So now I get I don't get my bonus I guess. Okay. Okay, that's better. Oh it's Svetlana again. Yeah I, I I like it, I like it a lot. Hello again, dar bartender. I'm just starting to lose my voice a little bit because I'm breathing everything out loud. <laughs> Obviously, when you're playing this yourself, you're rolling through much faster because you're just reading it. Hello again, bartender. Hi, can I get you something to drink? Yes, but I don't have time to chat tonight. That's okay. Got somewhere to be? Yes, I have a date. Where are you gonna go? I thought you didn't have time for a chat. Usually I'd like to go for a walk on the first date, but not with this rain. We'll go to the local museum. There's a dinosaur exp uh, expedition this month. Do you mean exposition? I am assuming it's not an, a dinosaur expedition. That would imply there were actual dinosaurs to expedite too. <laughs> it's fine. They mean an exposition. That sounds like fun. What can I get for you? A godmother. Okay. Coming up. I should try that uh, that quiz again. Earn some more money for that. So what's the difference between the godmother and the godfather? Oh, I forgot the ice. Sorry. Um, hold on, let me... Now I'm curious. Wait, there's no timer anyway. Here, so the godfather is uh, whiskey with amaretto, and the godmother is uh, mother is vodka with amaretto. All right. I I only have. Oh, Ooh, that was lucky. Just that? There we go. Yeah, so I didn't get the flawless bonus. Uh, ser flawless service bonus. That's okay. Uh, I g we could take a look at the, the free play. If you want. Check it out. 
Oh look, it's, it's a review. Superior, superior cocktail service at this establishment run by an organic individual belonging to the class of skilled bartenders. I thought he didn't like my stuff. Wait, can I... Oh, I can change the wall colors. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> the grasshopper requires 15 milliliters... No, 30. Okay, sorry. Uh... Miami Beach? No, it's a hurricane. I'm just guessing now. But it would be nice to earn some more money. Uh, it's not the white Russian. Well, ginger beer, obviously. I know that one. Cram the mint. Uh, 30? Yes. Which of the following ingredients is not used in this cocktail? Like John Collins. Oh, I don't know. Lem lem lemon? No. It was one or the other. <laughs> Eric says, when I was in LA, we would drink a rusty nail with a drambu drambui. When we went to a revolving restaurant, get very drunk, watch the city lights at night. Yeah, I'll bet you got very drunk. <laughs> uh, this is the godmother, so that's absent. It's not used. How much amaretto? 45? Not used in an aviation. Ginger beer? Yes? Let me see if we can get to, to 10, if we get another bonus. Um, wasn't that 30? Yeah, I remember that correctly. We got that question before. Uh, that is a grasshopper? No, white lady. Uh, which one is not used? Over pool rum. Mon ah, yeah, okay, so you get the bonus every five. That is a... That's yours? Yeah. I wasn't worried, I wasn't sure there was... Uh... Yeah, we got another ten bucks extra, nice. <laughs> There's my bonus. Oh, kitty's on the closet, had it. <laughs> I was gonna ask how you got up there, but I guess... Uh... What's the view of her like from up there? Kitty won't tell. Alana Lester. I still think it's the same woman we saw, but I'm not sure. Can we read what? It's too. It's moving too quickly. I can't. No, it's. I can't read it. I like the new wall colors. But it's much warmer. Mm. Let me see. Nice new shirt. I like this one. But also this one. I need some different shoes though. Those fit nicely per color, but these ones are a bit more, a bit smaller. Little memory game yet? It's nice, isn't it? Change the shorts, you don't want to send the wrong message, I guess. Let's see, so... Considering the colors we're wearing, it's probably gonna be black. We got some leggings. Or we got these crinkly pants. Now, I would love to have some just black jeans, but th these are very crinkly. There. That does look better, actually. I, I don't know. And, they're just a little bit too short, I guess. There we go. We'll see what's going on with that. 
The view reminds me of uh, VR chat. There's also worlds there where they have view like that. Wait, let me uh, brush my teeth. The medical directory. Why is that in the bathroom? Why do I have the same pain? Oh no, it's not the same pain. It's a different color actually. Om nom 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 nom. Oh, nice, nice, nice breakfast. All right, let's go. Would be nice if we could eat and such. <laughs> a skirt? Oh, we can try that uh, later. But let's see. We have some fruit. Oh, cinnamon and cocktail umbrella as well. Champagne, sparkling wine, a sink, menu. A burger, cheese, pepperoni, pop house, wings, nachos, and cheeseburger. And just a decorative wall. Beer zone, 21 plus, yeah. John is back! My artificial invitation draws me towards an old fashioned number 56. I can handle it. It would be best for me to this at exactly this time. I trust your human level intelligence. Can craft such a beverage. Sure, come right up. Yeah, let's just roll with it, I guess. Let me see. Ice. Oh, six milliliters. Okay. That's literally. Okay, well, that's a little bit too little. That's one dash. That's two dashes. There we go. Rye whiskey, 60 milliliters. A little bit more. Nope, one dash more. There we go, perfect. And sugar syrup. Oh, there we go. How much? 15. We got the bitters, so an orange wheel. No, sorry. Can I... There must be a garbage bag somewhere for me to... There must be a way to get rid of this, right? I accidentally put... Picked up the wrong item. Oh, discard, sorry. Middle button. I'm not paying attention. It's an orange twist. There we go. That's the right one. Three bugs. Thanks, John. I sometimes ponder what it's like to be human, consuming fluids just to survive, and requiring rest every night. No offense, but you look pretty human, fair enough. The price is it's still 1992. I don't know what time zone this is. And we got the 30 likes, thanks everyone, I appreciate it. Get cyber guy drunk, find out what's his real deal. Yeah, I'll take him home. We'll find out what's under that code. Okay, no offense, but you look pretty human. The burden of pursuing pleasure while avoiding pain in every waking moment must be overwhelming. I figured out the tough times give you more appreciation for the good times. I'm not capable of understanding those types of feelings. Craft me a John Collins, number 53, Virtue. All right. Okay. Eyeball. Ice. Oh, look who's back. Uh, let me see. Bourbon. 45? No, don't put it down. 4. Lemon juice. Sugar syrup. Oh, one dash. There we go. And soda. Then they want a cherry on top. A lemon wheel. This one. And a medium straw. I love how they just order new drinks while they're still 
like the whole drink in front of them. <laughs> yeah, the rain sounds are just getting louder. Anna. Well, hello again, Barton. Hello again, Barista. I would like to place an order. What will it be? A screwdriver, please. Come on, right up. It's a good way to learn your cocktails, actually, this. Okay. Nice. There we go. Um, orange juice. 120. Oh, one too many. Oh, now in real life you would actually use um, like a measurement. I can't think of the name right now, but that would actually make it a lot easier. This is a good one. Thanks. You're welcome. What are the customers like here? I didn't start long ago. Sorry, I didn't start long ago, so I don't think I've seen the whole gamut yet. But I've met quite a variety of customers already. Sorry, that sentence flew a little, went a bit weird there. The awesome way to learn drinks? Yeah, because all the I think all the recipes are just real. Imagine if you were in a bar with a different language. Well, the mo most cocktail names still are called the same. Bye, Apex! Have I tried Metro Sim Hustle? I actually came across that just now as I was... Uh, I think it was sweet. Someone suggested Air Hostess. No, it wasn't. Something about serving drinks in an airplane. Oh, sorry. I accidentally clicked on. Um, they, that's also one of theirs upcoming. And I have requested that one, but I haven't tried Metro Sim Hustle yet. But it's it's a different kind of game, I think, though. With more driving and such. You know, the Metro. It's my job to make a memorable experience for everyone. Some people like to chat, others not so much. I'm okay with all that, I just want them to enjoy themselves. I don't get many opportunities to chat with my customers, I mostly talk with my co-workers. You like your co-workers? Yeah, we're a star team. We get like three customers on a whole evening. This is not, not running very well, is it? Most ships I work with, three others. What I like. Jake is the talkative one. Okay, we're probably gonna meet these people then. Not the annoying type though. He's a fun type of guy you could go for a five hour road trip with and not get bored. He makes a fine vanilla latte too. Sounds nice. Then there's Katie. She's definitely the smartest one out of the four of us. She's a competitive, plus ch 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 competitive chess player and has a pet corgi that our supervisor lets her bring in sometimes. A red eye coffee is my hangover cure. Maybe my boss will let me bring my cat into work. What else do you work with? Who else do you work with? Razor Supervisor, I told you about him already, right? Are you ever gonna give me his number, I think? Yeah, you want it now? No. <laughs> Just tell me about him. <laughs> Just keep your brat. <laughs> He's like our glue. He bonds the whole team together. I want to bet you anything Brad's just going to show up one night. This is the second time she mentioned him. <laughs> yeah, Anna told me to come here. Let's see. He bonds the whole team together and I swear he's a mind reader. Anytime one of us walks in at the start of a shift, he can tell right away what kind of mood we're in. And I'll walk into work having a bad day. I'll leave at the sh end of my shift in a good mood. That's a good boss to have. She's not wrong. I've had worse. <laughs> Usually it's the opposite. <laughs> He's got a great sense of humor, but he knows how to be polite too. I think we got a lot of customers to return just to be around him. Also, he has a second degree black belt in Aikido. This is pretty cool. That is, that is pretty cool. Have you seen him kick anyone's ass yet? Not yet. But I'm patiently waiting for the day to come. Well, I met this guy yesterday. He would be perfect. <laughs> Only if it's someone who really deserves kicking, of course. Sounds like he got a good crew to work with. I feel pretty lucky. Honestly, I like my job. 
Hey, any chance I could score another drink while I'm here? Of course. A Malibu Brave. Malibu Bay Breeze. Oh boy, I'm getting. <laughs> Hold on, I'm thirsty. Since that's pretty much what I said all out. There you go, Eric. <laughs> yeah, he can kick it out. Alright. Malibu Bay Breeze. That's a lot of ingredients. What the hell just happened? Um. Oh, yeah, no, that that's my fault. <laughs> Sorry, Eric. Yeah, it's my fault. I let it through and then I let it through the YouTube block and then Streamlabs block showed up and kick your booty. Yep. Sorry. Hold on. What's all in this? A coconut rum? Cranberry juice? Yeah, I'll not let it happen again. <laughs> oh, oh, sometimes these blockers... No. There we go. Uh, cherry on top. Pineapple wedge. Hold on, where's that? I haven't seen that one yet. Um, oh, there we go. Oh, nice. I like it already. So, oh, we, we can finally add a cocktail umbrella. Oh man, it's black and white. How boring is that? There you go, man. Wait. But, no, that's Nora. That's the boss. I guess they... Is this your little sister or what? Because... Yeah, no. How are you doing tonight? <laughs> you can work many different jobs, rent apartments, you have to eat, sleep, drink, take showers, use the bathroom, you can go to the casino. Uh, do you mean a Metro Sim Hustle? Or what was the name? Metro Sim Hustle, yeah, I was right. How are you doing tonight? Great, I'm having a lot of fun here. Did you have to, Did you have to go golfing yet? Oh right, yeah, she left me a golf stick. Not yet. But some guy named Troy came by last night. He said something about throwing bricks to the window. Oh yeah, he does his rounds at the bars in the neighborhood. He likes to think he's some kind of mobster, but he's harmless. Well, otherwise it'd been a mixed bag of customers, like you said. This one guy that visits every night, he wears a black trench coat, he seems convinced he's a robot? Oh, Jean, he's a regular for a long time. What's his story? Apparently he's quite wealthy from what I gather. He spent his day building some kind of human augmentation parts in the warehouse. He once said something about owning a hero helicopter. <laughs> he's pretty clear cut, very particular with his orders. Well. He must be doing a good job if he keeps returning. Yeah, he gave a good review too. How about a drink for me? All right. He wants a pale ale beer. Coming right up. Pale ale beer, right now. Uh, there and then there. Oh, nice tip. Four seventy-five. Uh, there's an uh, and it's a not safe for work update, Rob, of a DLC. It's a free, a free DLC, so you can opt in or out. I I checked that out already. Yeah, you can just pour a beer. That's a good beer. Well, I'm glad because it's your own cafe. So if you you know if your beer sucked, you would have to change it. Glad you like it. How do you like the job? It's great. I didn't think I have this much fun bartending. When are you going to show me how to use the cocktail shaker? As I said, we don't usually make those kinds of drinks at this bar. I'll leave it there in case a bartender wants to practice with it. Hmm, okay then. What about the lighter? That's for making flaming cocktails. Alright. 
I think you mentioned that before. You did, yes. They have some flaming cocktails on the menu at one of my other bars. <coughs> Hold on. They're very popular. Okay, so I guess we can grow on here too, but there's no eating or drinking in this game. Yeah, that's the impression I got too, Carson. I guess they went a little lighter on this one. On, like, different things, but we'll see. I mean, this is just the first few levels. How about another drink? Gin tonic. Ice. You don't mess around, do you? I have my moments. I got a rookie bartender coming in tomorrow night to take your position. What? Yeah, that's what she said. Yeah, I hurt you, so what is... You're done with me now? Did I do something wrong? Take it easy, I need a solid bartender for my new beer garden down the street. This is not how you give someone a promotion, telling them they've been replaced. That's just mean. And you're perfect fit. Interested? Really? Yeah, really. I mean, of course. Where can I start? Tomorrow evening, if you're available. I might need you for a night shift sometime, too. I'll bump up your pay. Just let me know when you need some time off. Awesome. Looking forward to it. The cocktail menu is a step up, but you can handle it now. How about a John Collins? You can handle it now. How about a John Collins? Sorry. I read that wrong. Okay, so we might get some new techniques then at this uh, different location. How much? 45. Lemon juice. Oh, that's a lot of lemon juice. Oh, I keep going over a little bit. And some soda. Oh, that's way too little. Ah, still went over. I was so careful. And no one else has wanted to play tic-tac-toe with me. Yes, they heard how awful I was at it. <laughs> to be fair, I haven't played tic-tac-toe since I was a kid. I have a place here called the Grumpy Monk. Craft beers and tourist sushi. Oh my goodness. Wish the place was slightly better, but they allow dogs. Okay, yeah, that is nice. No, just mixing the drink for the boss, yeah. Okay, but we did get our flawless service bonus this time, so that's nice. Chapter 2, Shooter. Ninja, no, not a shooter. What can I get for you? Actually, I've got a, <laughs> I've only got tap water tonight. <laughs> All I've got on tap tonight is water. I hope you tip well. Yeah, shoot. I doubt it. Oh, I want to, can we actually, no, we can't go out or anything, can we? Oh, she left us a nice review. Uh, the walls are a bit expensive. Okay. Let's get our bonus today. How much egg white? 30? That sounds about right for one egg. The cocktail required how much orange juice? 60? No, 30. Uh, this is a stinger. What is not used in there? Honey beer? Uh, gin tonic. Well, that, that's, that's literally gin and tonic. Hey, Mr. Bite. Yeah, I quite like it. So far, it's only been 
pouring drinks and talking to people, but it's nice. When I saw it was like first person, I expected a little bit more, but it might still be coming. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. How much creme de cassis? Um, it's quite a small glass. 30? Yes. So if you get five answers correctly, you get 10 bucks bonus, which is actually quite a bit in this game. How much soda in the spread spin channel? 120? No. Oh, wow. That that's soda. What's the name of this? Is that the horny bull? It is. I recognize that one. It's a salty dog. In? No. Okay. I didn't know that one. How much whiskey? 45? No, 60. Uh, 45? Yeah, now it was correct. How much gin? Uh, 45? No, this one has more gin. Okay. How much white wine? 120? Wine is usually a bit more than like strong drinks. How much champagne? 90. Same story. Not used in Americano. Bourbon. Aha. Uh -huh. oh, one more for bonus. Okay. Uh, that looks like a dry martini. Hey, 10 bucks earned. All right, do you want me to get a skirt? I guess we can do that. Let me see. Is there like these pen skirts? Um. I, well, I, let's get a black one. I guess we can switch up colors later. Yeah, it's, it's okay for one day. It, it's not my favorite. The quiz? Yeah, this is actually educational. Oh, yeah, but uh, Saint asked it's uh, and there's a delay, so I'm clicking through it pretty quickly. Hey, Dave Reef. Also, peeps, we now have memberships giveaway. Well, not giveaway, the uh, gifting memberships. That's the right way to say it, as I pinned at the top. So that's pretty awesome. There should actually still be a couple available, but I can't. Uh, the only way to, to, to opt in for it is to click the message when someone gives it. It's a nice cat. Guess what I'll be doing tomorrow? Picking up a new cat. We don't have a name yet. It's a girl. She's about 11 months now. And we lost our little Junie, unfortunately, a while, a while back. Not, not too long ago. And Freya's just, she's never been alone. So we looked for a new one pretty quickly. And they chose us. So we're going to be picking up tomorrow. Um, probably garbage can great <laughs> just uh we call it a european short hair but it's basically just mixed <laughs> yeah she's actually a rescue from um uh greece well i usually i here's the thing there's a lot of people who take cats from like romania and surrounding countries and then sell them here for a very high price but these people actually t uh, work with a rescue over there and they go to greece themselves and then take the kittens back and adopt them out here because there's a lot of people here that want cats but there's not a lot of stray cats here so actually getting one from the uh, from the pound from um, an official place is actually very hard because they have so many people wanting cats that just getting one, we wouldn't get one because we don't have a garden, for example. And they can ask that. So we found someone else and then it looks like from what she told me, she does good work. So we're going to be picking her up tomorrow. Hi. Um, Kaylee, you look a bit 
creepy. If I'm <laughs> have to be honest. Here. Okay, let's talk to her. Howdy, partner. Oh boy. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> hey ha. Okay. Howdy and welcome. I'm a wanted well in these city parts, as you can tell. That's okay. I'd be happy to serve you. What can I get you? I figured you ain't serving no meat out here. How about a good martini drive for your new pal Kaylee? You bet. One dry martini coming up. Let's see. Shaker mixing spoon. Pour ice. Enter the acquired agreements in the shaker. Use the right mouse button to shake the shaker. Left mouse button to pour the shaker. And the middle mouse button if you mess up. Okay. If a recipe requires a cocktail to be stirred, you can grab the mixing spoon with a jar from the jar and use it in the cocktail. Okay, that sounds simple enough. What do you want? Okay, this one's going to be... Uh, shaken then. So we add ice. I'm just making sure I don't mess up. Um, gin, 75. Nope, a little bit more. Oh, two, two boobs. Dry vermouth. Oh, a little bit too much there. So. Pick it up and we shake it. All right, a cocktail. Oh, hold on. This is the first time I've been in this bar. It's now on the other side. Okay, now we pour it out. I'm assuming we're just pouring out everything. No, I just I meant to put you down. There you go. And an olive. Achievement unlocked. Howdy, partner. <laughs> fake CIA because she's fake country. Okay. A Norwegian forest cat. That would be amazing. But one, their fur require a lot of work. Two, they can be huge and I live in an apartment. And that just wouldn't fit <laughs> at all. Yeah, Freya, she's uh, she's about six now, like I mentioned before, and she's never been alone. She's never been a lonely cat, and you can, yeah, you can clearly notice that she's bored. She doesn't do anything. Uh, she she just hangs around us and meows a lot. So we're, we're, I found her a friend. I hope they get along well. But Freya's very easy. Hey, Auntie, welcome back. I still don't know how to get. Uh, how to gift your and Colts memberships that you gave to people. I'm not entirely sure how that works yet. There's no way for people to opt in if there's no message. It's odd, but it's beta. They'll uh, they'll probably work on it. It's gonna it's got to be a complaint. I guess for bigger streamers it wouldn't be. Maybe. Gotta thank you for that, there, partner. You're welcome. What brings you to the city? I had to pick up some oil for my old farm tractor. But I figured to stick around for a few days. Don't say ignorance is bliss. I say it's folly not to know. Lot to see in the city. You could check out the aquarium. They have live sharks there. Sharks. Never seen a shark before. Never seen much marine life at all. Most ter terrestrial animals from where I come from. Yeah, I bet on the farm. You live far from here. You don't ride to live far from here, far enough away to where you can see the constellations in the night sky. Not like the dull looking sky in this big old city. Fair enough. Must be nice to see those stars. I can't remember the last time I saw the stars in the sky. There's too much pollution out here. You know what I mean, partner. You're all missing out on simpler things in life. Like what? Like passion for working hard, found values, taking care of your community, partner. Wow, that's rude, because she's literally right now working hard. Most people in this darn city don't even make eye contact, let alone say hello. Yeah, I guess I should keep in touch with my family more. I've just been so busy lately. Bitch, we, we only work here, like, every night. You can call your mom, like, well, if you like your mom. If you don't, don't call. <laughs> no one in Texas says partner who says she's from Texas. <laughs> 
No, I think that the one that from Derby got gifted away. The last one that was gifted was from Auntie. But I'm not 100% sure. Oh, well, we'll see how it goes. Oh, yeah, I guess I should keep in touch. Uh, yeah, we said that. Ain't no better blessing than the love you get from a family. By the way, it's nice meeting you. What's your name there, partner? Like, yeah, like no one talks like that. She's pro completely fake country. Here. Name's Amy. Nice to meet you. Anything else I can get for you? That's a fan name. Now, you mentioned it. How about another drink? What do you like? A honey beer. Okay, one honey beer. No. Uh, that's this one. Oh god, I hope that's not Brad. <laughs> one buck. A reverse badass. <laughs> No, it's not Brad, it's Daniel. Oh boy. It says nothing. Welcome. Hi. What can I get for you? I have to order a drink while you're sitting at my bar. <laughs> of course not. Most people come to the bar to drink though. Hmm. Let me know if I can get you something. Okay, give me a drink. What will it be? I have to stay sober, just don't overfill it with ice. I know all of your tricks. Oh boy. Sure, one stay sober coming up. <laughs> That's actually such a smart name. Just, just, just stay sober. There's no alcohol in it. Apple juice. Yeah, there's no, uh, yeah. Uh, cranberry. No. There we go. <laughs> Wait, did I accidentally pick up the cream? I did. Whoops. Didn't mean to. I didn't even realize. Until I saw the color. Okay, now now I got the right one. There you go, cranberry. And two boops. There we go. And ginger beer. 90. Oh. Here you go, sir. Oh. oh one buck. <laughs> Sad. He has to stay sober. Because he has to assassinate the M16 MI6 agent. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. So how's it going? Not good. What's the matter? I've been on sick leave from work for the last month. What are you doing here? <laughs> I hope you get better soon. Anything you want to talk about? I don't think I can return to work. I've been self-diagnosed with a sick building syndrome. Okay. Sick Yeah, exactly. Sick building syndrome. The conditions in the ovens are work I work at cause me to suffer from irreversible chronic disease. <laughs> There's plenty of fresh air out here. I'd be happy to keep the drinks coming. Are you trying to force me to drink? No, but I'll be happy to be your bartender if you want to chat over cold beer, that's all. Chat over cold beer. Yeah, if you want. Do you have any warm beer? Warm beer? I like my beer warm. Really? Why? That's a good, good question, I think. It has an enhanced flavor. He's not wrong. Well, I'm sorry, but we do not serve warm beer, only cold. That's also fair enough, because it's not nice. Give me a cold pale ale beer then. Okay, come on right up. Oh boy, what a what a douche. Um That's this one. What a guy. He wants his beer warm. Your favorite beer is free beer, and if that's not available, it's cold beer. <laughs> Stop. 
complaining. <laughs> Good. Glad you like it. I haven't slept in three days. I yeah, I can tell. <laughs> really? Is it noisy where you live? No, not really, but sleep is dangerous. Leaves you vulnerable. Oh boy. I'm I'm a bartender, not a shrink. I guess so. Don't you lock your doors? That's a weak form of protection. Also, someone stole all the mail out of my mailbook last week. It's just a sign of terrible things to come. He, he just needs to go to bed now. <laughs> That's too bad. You should try to stay positive, though. You attract the things you think and... F you think and fear, you know. Says who? Says me. Well, my grandfather, but anyway. <laughs> he hasn't slept because he's been tracking the target. <laughs> Best beer is anything in the refrigerator. No, no, the best beer is free. And after that comes cold. That's, you know, if someone buys you a beer, it's the best beer you ever had. Oh, there you go again, <laughs> Eric. What did you say this time? Yeah, that's the same word again. <laughs> Amy. Amy, how can I know that I can trust what you say? You can't. Can you just piss off now? And I'm, I'm cursing at it, but I'm enjoying myself. I like to think I'm a pretty genuine person. I don't lie. You never lie? I mean, never? Did you just lie to me by telling me you never lied? <laughs> yes. If it's something stupid and insignificant, then sure, maybe I'll lie. Give me an example. Um, give me an example. Okay, fine. Like, my little brother got a new drum set for his birthday last year. He's a terrible musician. But I told him he sounds good anyway. It encourages him. Yeah, Streamlabs does not like that word. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. I didn't let it through. That's lying. It's a little white lie for his benefit, not mine. Not really. I would have told him he sucked, so he gave up and stopped beating his drum. Maybe he'd benefit more for someone telling him he's a terrible musician. But the point is, I don't lie about meaningful things. I would hate myself. How's the drink? Good. Anything else I can get for you? Um, martini sweet. You know, I thought I had to stay sober. I got the feeling if I record that, it's gonna block him again. Because Assassin has the problem word in it. <laughs> oh, I hope you're Brad. You look a lot better than Daniel over here. Okay, let's go. Alright, ice to the shaker. We got red vermouth. 15. Oh, that's way too much, but that's okay. Ver Vermouth? I don't know. Uh, no, that's fine. Um, I think it's like a Polaroid picture. No. Go away! <laughs> and a cherry. Alright, no, it's not Brad, it's Nathan. Good day, ma'am. Oh boy. Welcome. Can I start you up with something? He survived that one. <laughs> That's true. Eric is still here. I'd like a pale ale beer. Alright. I keep reaching for that side. And let me see, I actually look around at this new bar. So the same wall still, but... I guess that makes sense, because it's the same owner. We've got the same fruit. I mean, let's just be honest, they're the same assets, but we got a little bit more background now. And apparently the weather cleared up a lot. I guess that makes sense, because she would open up her beer garden if it was good weather, right? Sorry, uh, pale ale beer, that's this one. Oh, can I over over pour this? No. 
Okay, so I've been being a bit difficult for nothing. It can't go over the, the rim. So it's just... Clean glass, go beer, well done. See? He knows how it works. Thank you. But he just has to pay for it. Amy, right? How did you know my name? I'm a liquor inspector with a local government agency. Oh boy. I recently granted the liquor license to the owner of this establishment and I'm here to do an evaluation of the premise. Oh really? Is everything okay? It's standard procedure. I visit and inspect establishment. Wow, that sounds like a hard job if you get a beer everywhere you go. Okay, they, he uh, inspects establishments involved in the sale and distribution of alcohol. When violations occur, I report my findings to the Board of Liquor Corporation. Alright, that's fine. Are you familiar with carding procedures? Even... Oh, come on. Checking the identification of your patrons. Are you familiar with that? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, I ask for identification when needed. If a customer looks young, ask for identification. A good bartender screens anyone who appears under the age of 30. Okay. To be fair, they actually have a whole, a whole government control thing here where anyone who looks like 25 or younger should be carded. Because there were a lot of teens who, looks t who looked 20 who were just able to get alcohol at like uh, liquor stores or supermarkets. So they basically said, well, anyone who even looks remotely near 25 or younger, just card them. <laughs> I guess it did. They, were they started to look so old, those teens, that it just was necessary. See, don't just ask to see your customer's identification. Take it from them and hold it in your hand. Take a hard look at the photo of their identification. All right, I get that. If you're not sure, ask questions. What's their address? What's their eye color? You've got their identification, so you already know the answer. If they're using a fake identification, it could trip them up. Okay, so we actually need to start checking people then. I have a fine establishment here. It's just my job to make sure things are running smoothly. Card everyone, I know, right? You like how sake is sometimes poured over the rim and served in a wooden box? I hope the game goes to Tokyo. I, don't, I have no idea actually where all we're going. If I'm in the supermarket and I'm smiling. If you look happy, they cart you. If you look miserable, they don't cart you. That's also fair enough. Uh, but here, of course, it's uh, 18 where you can buy liquor. Seems like you got a good grasp on the work you do here. I'll be reporting full marks to the agency. Thanks. Want another drink? I don't usually drink on the job, of course, liar. It's just the first thing you did when you got here was order a beer. Oh, that just clocked out. How about another beverage? Of course, what can I get you? A Panama. Okay. He wants a Panama. Oh, we got another shaker drink. Nice. Ice. Uh, this is cognac. 30. No, nope, one boop. There we go. Um, well, that sounds good. 30 milliliters cognac, 30 milliliters creme de cacao, and 30 milliliters cream. I'm taking a screenshot. I, I think I have everything in the house for that. that. That sounds good for after the stream. Yeah, you're glad you have some gray hair. Actually, that works for me too. I have some, well, I don't do gray. I have a little bit of white already. Not happy, but it, it works fine in the stores because I did get carded actually. And it's like, yeah, can I see your ID? Like, oh, you're 20 years too late, darling. <laughs> but okay. Let's see. I thought I did one. I was one too many with uh, one pour, that's three milliliters with this one. So I did one pour less with this one. We'll see if that helps. Okay, shake it. Oh, I forgot to put on a glass, hold on. Um, cocktail glass. Well, it's lit up. Why am I checking? All right, pour it out. It should be the perfect amount, at least, even if it's not the right. I keep doing that. 
Uh, no decorations then, okay? Uh, no, it's for you. No, it's still just acceptable liquid. Uh... Hi, Ben. Look at you. Career took a bit of a turn, huh? How did you find me here? Oh, oh, hold on. Do we know him? You're on the sign out front. How could I miss it? Wait, why are we on the sign? You're proud of your salt and pepper. Fair enough. Hey, Derby. Also, hi, Cole. <laughs> Uh, one of your friends got gray hair 20 years ago, but still now I'm cheerful and cartis. <laughs> uh, I, I just take Osaka with me, you know, the beard just makes him not cart. There's no 18 year old that has a beard like that. I bet you anything that works for you too, Andy. <laughs> okay, uh, we know Ben apparently. I don't know who he is yet. Let's find out. What sign? Oh, so, oh, it's our brother. Apparently this is our brother Ben. Everyone meet Ben. Sis, your picture is on the sign out on the sidewalk. Must be quite a bartender. Ah, oh. My boss must have done that. How did he do that? How did she do that without her knowing? Like, I would have to take a pretty big picture to do that. What do you want? Yes, this is how you treat all your customers. Mom and dad were trying to reach you all week. Well, I don't live at home anymore. I don't need to be stalked all the time. Oh great, this is gonna be just fine. They probably just wanted to catch up. Have you changed? Hands out. I don't know, you seem different. Am I even welcome here? Of course, I just didn't expect you to show up. Well, that's what you get for ignoring your phone. Don't you want mom and dad to judge you for not going after a real job? Four years in college and ended up behind the bar. And this is a real job and sometime, something I actually enjoy. A lot more than I lost internship. Card him. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> that would be fun. Don't be so touchy about it. So how about a drink? What's the best hangover cure? Oh boy, now we know why she's been avoiding her brother. If you want a drink, then I'm going to have to see your identification. You don't appear to be of legal drinking age. That's your brother. You know my... <laughs> Nope. I'll need to see some identification, sir. <laughs> She's doing it. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, give me a break. No. Martin calls the shots. He's sitting right here, right? He's like the inspector. Whatever. I really get the special treatment here, don't I? Benjamin Hayes. I don't know what year it is, so... Uh, I don't know if he's old enough. How am I supposed to know if I don't know what year it is in the game? Are we just supposed to assume it's 2022? Because then he's old enough. Thank you, sir. What can I get for you? Okay, so he's old enough. So I'm assuming it's 2022 because he was born in 2000. Give me the best hanger for cure. Have you tried seeing something spicy? There's a good ramen shop next door, and if you just piss off, I can do my job. Um, if that doesn't work, just ask for the red eye coffee at the cafe down the street. But just pay me, a, make me a drink. My ass is done and gets sore. Uh, don't say that. Streamlabs doesn't like that word. Oh, you had a video crash? Oh no! Cold, no! Did you just get off the school bus? <laughs> no, apparently not. I'll see what I can do. Okay, we're making him a French connection. It's cognac and amaretto. I, I feel that he's not gonna like this, but okay. I don't see how this is a hangover cure. Can we not? No. Um, let me see. 45, 45. No, two boobs more. There we go. That does sound good to me, though. I doubt he likes it. Three boobs more. No, one boob more. It's hard to keep it exactly stuck as long as you... Oh yeah, stir it with a mixing spoon. Stir, stir, okay. Uh, oh, I forgot. Did I put ice in there? I didn't, did I? Oopsie. 
stir it again just to be sure. Uh, well, it looks like it's perfect. He didn't even tip me, did he? I didn't see. You know, you know what you do. That's why they pay me to be here. Thanks for the big tip, by the way. Hey, I'm trying to save money. So how did you end up here anyway? I don't know. My internship ended last month. I had to pay the bills somehow. Picked it up on a whim. That always said you were the hands-on type of kid. Crunching numbers all day in an office. Not your thing, after all. What's with all the questions? Don't know. Just never expected to see you behind a bar. You're always the studious one in the family. Hangover cure in Tony... Uh, goal in Tony Hawk. Okay, sure, yeah, put it in the Discord. I don't know what that is. We're behind on your drivers. Oh, yeah. People think it's easy. It takes a lot of skill to be a good bartender. That's true. I've not done it for a long time, but I did help out. I have to know my craft and create memorable experience for all different types of customers, all the while making it look as easy as possible. This is your calling? We'll see how it goes. You like it, don't you? Yeah, I do. It's a shame to waste the opportunity at something you enjoy. Mom and Dad would be happy for you. Wow, this is a... That drink's doing good. <laughs> His whole mood switched right there. It just kind of happened out of nowhere. That's all. And I didn't expect you to show up today. Won't be the last time. How about another drink? Gotta get my ID out again. Save it for next bar you stumble into. What can I get you? Give me a stinger. Okay. And stinger coming up. From the month of white. 30 milliliters. I guess he does like his uh, sweet... Uh... Oh, I guess you get an extra well done if you pour it right in one go. I did get the right bottle, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, let me grab the cocktail glass. I do it every time. Uh, no decorations. Flawless service bonus. Here we go. I'm rich. <laughs> I'll I'll check it out after the stream, Eric. A graphic lockup. Wow. You make a Singapore sling. I think we can actually. But I can only really make things for on order. Let me see here. Oh no, I don't think. No, because it should be here then. Singapore sling. Hmm. Sorry. It's not in here. Oh no. Cold no. <laughs> don't do this to yourself. All right, where did the cat hide this time? Nope, not in the sink. On the bed? What are we reading? English-Russian dictionary. Um, that's, well, that certainly would put you to sleep, yeah. Oh, I can close the curtains. I still love the view. Um, I'm missing a cat, though. I can at least lock into YouTube, yeah. It's on the balcony. Wow, we have a big balcony. Can we open the door? No. Still, cat, still the still same woman on TV. I can't crouch, I don't think. No. Ben Jones? Oh. Where's the cat?
There you are. <laughs> I was looking all over. <laughs> At least they know they're people. <laughs> you think it's funny to hide from me? Yeah. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel so busted. I mean, we could buy another wall, but... Oh boy, look at our brother. I don't remember being here, but I'm pretty drunk right now, so it must be a good bar. Awesome bar tester. Oh my god. Awesome. <laughs> Derby high, high and buys. That's fine. She can high and buy anytime. Cat in the fridge. I checked. She, she wasn't there. She was in the bathroom. Alright, this is, um... How much lemonade in a snowball? I have no idea. 90. No, uh, The woo woo requires 45. What's the name of the. Uh, it looks exactly as the, the horny bull. I guess it's a screw, screwdriver? No, a paradise? No, a screwdriver was. What's not in a French connection? Sambuca, because that's certainly not French. Uh, Yours requires 210 milliliters of beer. I remember that one. What is not used in a magic spell? I haven't made that one yet. I'm guessing rum. Yes. Because the color gave it away. Oh, there's Derby. The cat stepped on the power strip and shut off my computer. <laughs> That's the best excuse I've heard all day. Oh, he just finished eating. <clears throat> Whoa, bye, voice. I should actually get a drink. Hold on. I'll be right back. That's better. All the reading out of all the text required some extra uh, liquids, I guess. Non alcoholic liquid. This game actually teaches, yeah, it teaches you a lot about the, all the cocktails. I find it very interesting. Wish the dev gave keys. Well, I got one through Key Mailer, as you know, because. I'm a streamer, but I didn't get any extra to give away or anything. Oh, I bet the neighbors heard her. <laughs> I just hope you weren't working on something you've been spending like 40 hours on something. What did you have for dinner, Derby? Let's see, because it's... Uh... Yeah, it's about 6 right now, right? Yeah, should be. Let me see. Okay, um, I need three more right for the bonus. How much lime soda? Uh, 45. This is a small glass. What is not in the Russian spring punch? Cream. How much vodka is in the magic spells? 60. No, 30. Okay. It was a bit much, to be fair. How much white wine? 60? No. Oh, we had the question before. Silly me. What is not in the sea breeze? Uh, tequila. One more right. 
Uh, that is... Uh, Manhattan? No, Highball. That one I really didn't know. Mm, I think that's a godmother. Yes. Alright, another tw 10 bucks earned. More questions tomorrow. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of the skirt. I'm gonna buy these pants and see. Maybe we should try another color combination. I just don't like the other colors. Hold on. I try this one. There we go. And then um, that probably looks pretty okay with this one. Well, it's better than with the other shirt, but I'm just not a fan of those. No, that would make it too blue. Um. Actually, I quite like these sneakers with... Yeah, they're just... No, I don't like them. I... Yeah, let's do it like this then. No, wait. It didn't switch. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Hey Stacy, welcome back. Grilled cheese. Yeah, if you don't feel that well, uh, that's nice and easy to do. And it's good too. Need to learn your drinks better. Yeah, that's what this game does. Let's see, is the cat still in the bathroom? Because I spent some time looking for her. Yep. There she is. Or his, I don't know. Um, yeah, let's go. Jasper Beer Garden. Oh god, it's him again. He'll shoot me now. Hello, Daniel. Welcome back. What can I get you? A grasshopper. Okay, well, at least he got straight to the point. Tap. There we go. Okay, so they want mint. Uh, cram the mint. It's all 30. Then the white. Oh, that's cram the cacao. There we go. Don't know what the difference is actually. Oh, two boobs. And cream. Yep, that's cream. Sorry, one more boob. There we go. Shake it. Pour it. Ah, didn't make the mistake this time. Uh, they want some mint on there, okay. And that's it. Here you go. Correctly shaken. <laughs> hey, Grubter. How's it going today? Better. Got some sleep last night. Well, you don't look like it. <laughs> That's good to hear. I had a dream. Oh boy, here we go. An elevator dream. I was in an elevator, falling. I have the elevator dreams sometimes. They're quite common. Really, I've never had that. The worst part is when everything seems fine and all of a sudden, boom, it's free fall and get jarred away. There's more to it just the experience of being in an elevator. How so? The following elevator dream symbolizes a crisis or situation that been putting you down in real life. Like what? Could be a person or a situation. Something that needs to change, or something that needs to be removed from our life. From your life, sorry. Interesting. It could also mean you're losing control of things happening around you. And you may have the tendency to act destructively or impulsively. 
We should know a lot about these elevated rooms. Is he, is he like a psychiatrist or something? <clears throat> no, I, I, he did say he was self-diagnosed. So I guess he's his own best psychiatrist. And we got over 40 likes. Now I can see it too. Thank you all very much. It's important to analyze your unconscious thoughts. They can tell you a lot about your life. Do you think something needs to change about your life then? Maybe. Got any dates? I mean, he's been homesick for a month now. I guess he needs a change, yeah. Okay, you go on any dates? Dates? Where would I go on a date? I don't know. A local club's pretty popular. You could meet someone who really loves you. Which one? Uh, I think it's called the Flash Nightclub. Okay, I would like one more drink. Does he just do everything I suggest? Or, like, I guess. You bet. What can I get you? Apartment controller. Okay. Nice and easy. I don't know her yet. She's new. Um, there's the room. The, there's not much logic in these bottles, actually. Or at least I would have sorted them differently. Because there's like liqueurs, and then there's cognac, there's liqueurs again, and creams and nut creams are all mixed together. <clears throat> uh, cola? One, two. And a straw. Hi, Tara. Uh, hi, what troubles you? What troubles me? First, I was late for work. Then I got turned down for a lunch date. I figured I'd come here. What's the worst that could go wrong at a bar? Nothing too hazardous, I'm sure. What can I get for you? Give me a white Russian. Okay. Wow. I do like a good white Russian. Or any white Russian really. Um, just... Okay, it's a stirring drink. A cinnamon stick, really. I didn't expect that, since it's coffee. Sixty milliliters of vodka, that's quite a bit. Uh, 15 coffee liqueur. Oh, that was too much. Oopsie. And cream. Let me see. So we... Okay, first we stir. Then we add the cinnamon stick. And then a small straw. There we go. Hooked us two up. He's already gone. It, he, he knew what I was planning. <laughs> you know how much stress a printer can cause? What, like computer printer? Yes, a computer printer. A printer that prints pages with ink on them. Yes, I can relate. I used to work in an office, actually. I tried to print one page and I ended up printing 32 without noticing. And the printer strikes again. It's not funny. I thought I'm... Okay, <coughs> hold on. We need a new voice for her. <coughs> I thought I was going to have a stress-induced heart attack from it. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. <laughs> it's really not a big deal in the grand scheme of things. Easy for you to say. I get, you get to have fun all day. You can have fun doing any job. Did you have fun working at your office job? No, but some of my colleagues enjoyed it. What kind of work do you do? I'm an actuary. I develop insurance policies based on risk assessments. Wow, that does sound pretty bad, yeah. Do you like it? No, I do it for the money. Maybe you'd be happier doing something else, you know, shit. Hey, rascal. <laughs> All right, Rob. Probably. I feel like I've invested too much time into it at this point to turn around, though. Hey, I did. I used to work with mortgages. It's never too late. 
I'm glad I changed my career. Me too. Whatever. Give me another drink. A silver bullet. And I hope you're using eco-friendly straws here. Silver bullet. And I'll get back to you about the straws. Coming right up. Uh, they look pretty plastic to me. <laughs> Let me see. What? Uh, get a cocktail glass. Oh god, it's him again. Hi, brother. But, you know, I never get the option to cart anyone. Maybe it was just a joke meant for the brother. Okay, we need some gin. Nope, two boobs more. 30 milliliters of scotch. Tickets. And add a lemon twist. There you are. I get an achievement for every new cocktail I make. It's like, how many achievements does this game have? A lot, probably. Hi, Ben. What's a guy like me gotta do for a couple of drinks around here? Good manners and a nice tip usually work, yeah. But I'll lower my standards for you just a little bit. Oh, come on. I'm one of, most, one of your most valued customers. Or do you not? Right, what can I get you? Uh, give me a woo. Oh, excuse me. I have a thing about having a woo-woo. <laughs> Is it like a woo-hoo or <laughs> can you make me one? Sure. Incest coming. Um, I mean a woo-hoo. Woo. A woo-woo coming right up. Hold on, I grabbed a highball glass. Yes, it is. Okay. Peach schnapps. Okay, I haven't done that one before. Um, that is me schnapps. Absolutely no logic in... So I was looking for the orange bottle, but I guess not. No, oh, no, it's actually a white bottle. Okay. Looking for peach color. Silly me. Cranberry juice. So it does light up when you need it. However, if it's already white, it's not that easy to see. Okay, mix all the ingredients and stir. And then we get a lime wheel. And a medium straw. In your face. Correctly stirred, yes! It was smart to leave, okay. <laughs> Thanks, this is, a, uh, this is a good one, thanks. You got it, buddy. I gotta say, pretty cool to have a bartender in the family. You could mix, drink, mix drinks at my next party. Oh my Yeah, we'll see about that. Making good money with this gig? It's good, I mean, I haven't paid much attention to the money. But I'm really busy and I like it. They, they really don't look alike. Better than your last job? Yeah, kind of felt like I was getting... Uh, felt like I was getting good at the wrong thing, and I had a colleague who was always better than me. He ended up getting the job I wanted. Fair enough. Still want that job? Nah, she can have it. I'd rather be here. Take a sip here. <laughs> I like your new job too. I can come hang out with you wherever I want. Whenever I want. Yeah, I think he needs to cut back a little, uh... I think he came here to see how drunk he can get without tipping the bartender. Fair enough. Hey, I told you, I'm trying to save some money. <laughs> if you're trying to save money, you can start by breaking the habit of going out to bars every night. What the hell is that? It's snowing? You gotta keep people like you in business, sis. Maybe you gotta find a job, stop spending mom's and dad's money on booze every night. Wow, shots fired. 
Well, as long as I keep coming here, the money's just being recirculated through the family, right? Not really, because I work for someone. See, so you could apply that kind of logical thinking at a higher level, like as a mechanic or a salesperson. I'm still young. I've got plenty of time. It's good to figure out the difficult things when you still have time. Have time for one more drink. I think I'll decide when it's time for another drink. What, can I just get a sea breeze? Only because you're a pesky little brother coming up. Really, it's, it's time to cut him off uh, at this point. He's just coming here to get drunk. Or maybe we can hook them up. <laughs> That'll be a blast. Uh, 90 milliliters. And then... Um, vodka. Sixty. Oh, a little bit too much there. And some grapefruit. Okay, no stirring or anything. Uh, the lime wheel. There, that one. Yeah, no tip again, bastard. <laughs> Who goes to a bar, hangs out with the bartender, doesn't tip? Uh, my little brother in game here. That's him. All right, it's Kaylee again. Howdy, partner. Howdy, what can I get for you? I've been dreaming about a rum and cola. Can you make one of them for me? Sure, come on right up. Better call that CAA agency's back. Oh. Brother went poof. <laughs> it's gone. Uh. Hold on. Am I missing? Oh, sorry. It's rum. That one's over here. Mixing up my drinks there. Literally. <laughs> Cola. Two boops. There. Oh, that was three. Sorry. <laughs> if Freya gets a beer, then Rob, you can finally use the Freyas. Well, you already could have the Discord, to be fair. That's what I call a good drink. Thank you for that. You're very welcome. You sure know what you're doing behind there, don't you? Well, thanks. It started not long ago. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, we started a few days ago. Ain't much choosing career where I'm from. You either work on the farm or hop on a freight train to heck knows where. Never come back. There's a lot of opportunities out here. You can do whatever you like. Your life ain't for me. I was born with dirt in my boots and I'll die with dirt in my boots, partner. Fair enough. <laughs> Ain't nothing better than having work and family all in one place. You ever rode a tractor? No, I haven't. What's it like? Waking up before the crack of dawn, starting up the old hunger metal and watching the sunrise to do your duty. Ain't nothing quite like it. That's one more thing for me to add to my bucket list. It's really not. Like... We're getting up before dawn already. <laughs> I'd be happy to have you come visit my farm, partner. Really? Polite and hardworking. My father would take a liking to you. Hey, how about another drink? You bet. What can I get for you? A gin ricky. Okay. Want some gin ricky? Add some ice. Get the gin. Lime juice. It's lemon. That's the lime. Easy to get something uh, accidentally wrong here. You grab the wrong bottle. Soda. Ninety. Yes. Oh. One book. There we are. And 
and decorate. Mm. Oh yeah, we got uh, instead of 50, we've got 25 now. Uh, sorry, 75, so 25 extra. He needs to lose the hat. It does go well with the bandana, that's right. All right. Oh, there she is. Brr. I can't reach on top of the fridge. Can you check to see if my electric bills are still up there? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Alana Lester, still the same report. Oh look, it's Daniel. This is my favorite drinking establishment to visit. The bartender makes me feel alive. I see this bar every night in my dreams. Oh my goodness. Okay, dude. How much cola? 120. What's the name of this cocktail? Uh, wasn't that an aviation? Yes. What's not used in a tequila sunrise? Beer. That was easy. That is a mimosa. Oh. <laughs> Sparkling wine in the Tintoretto. Under 20? No. 19. At least it doesn't reset if you get something wrong. Yeah, me too, Eric. It's actually what, uh, like, the, I saw the pictures and it pulled me in. Like, I was a bit worried this was going to be more of a, yeah, like, Diner Dash kind of game, which it does had in that direction, but it's different enough to make it fun. What's the name of this cocktail? Uh, it's not a rum and cola. I don't know what these two look like, so I'm going to go with the John Collins. Yay. Um... Okay. All right, another ten bucks earned. I, I just keep wondering if we're gonna get like a, a, a large bill or something that we need to pay. Let me try out something new. Mm -hmm. I wish I could see it on before I bought it. No, no, that doesn't fit at all. Do we have like... There's not a normal pants. I'll just buy one of them and see what it looks like. Yeah, not, not too bad actually. It's quite a different look. Yeah, those sneakers, they, they fit with those pants. A bit colorless though this but it works we can always buy more tomorrow yeah it does look smooth it's actually a, lo a lot more fun than I actually expected before I tried it out. Alright, so the game is saved. Um, you guys want to take a look? I can always continue the storyline. You guys want to take a look at the other gameplays? Let me see. So it saved while I was sleeping. With the, there's no other way to save the game. You finish the day. Okay, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. The intro music is very loud. What's an arcade? Um, so we can pick a floor? What? What are we? I don't know what we're picking here. randomly picked something. Arcade. Oh, it's waves.
Interact with customers to take their order. You can set multiple orders and change the active recipe using Q and E. Make move quickly or your customers may exit the bar. Okay. Uh sure. Let me give this a go. Don't know where everything is in this bar. Don't see much use in getting different recipes in one go. Glasses are over here, sorry. Come on. Any beer? Because this is like a speed run. I like it less than just simply the storyline. We'll give it a go. White wine. Can I just pour on there? I can. The pouring that actually takes the longest. Oh, that wasn't that good. In your face. <laughs> no. This one. They're all ordering the same things at this point. I guess you need to unlock stuff. That's what they said after all. Everyone wants a white wine. Come on. There we go. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, okay, I get the idea. I just hope that didn't damage my... No, because the storyline is separated. Uh, what about the sandbox? Oh, uh, that's the same... Well, hold on. So... Sure. I just picked some random colors there. Mix your cocktails of choice. Okay, here we go. Now I can pour you guys a drink. All right, let's see. A high. Uh, you want a highball? Okay. Uh, and then Crofter wanted a whiskey sour and a Jack and Ginger. Oh. I, I can just set it as an active recipe. That's awesome. All right, coming right up. This is a good way to actually uh, practice some more difficult cocktails or just practice your pouring because that's the most this difficult part of the whole game. One lemon twist. Cherry. And a little straw. Where are they? There. Well, medium straw. There you go. 
Uh, let me see. Whiskey sour. Is that something we can make? No. A Jack and Ginger. Does it have a specific name? Anything that looks like it? Hmm. Arigato kusamaimasu. Oh, okay, yeah, no worries. <laughs> Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm, ch I'm checking. Anything else, Corruptor? I'm making old fashioned. <laughs> it's a rattlesnake. Oh, absinthe. I don't know enough about them to know what's a good replacement. Everyone's an old fashioned. And Auntie wants a Long Island iced tea. Auntie was just a moment early, but I'll get to it. Hold on. Long Island. Wait. Where did you see a Long Island iced tea? I don't see it, Auntie. Yeah, Crofter, if you want something else, just, uh, just tell me. We'll go with this one for now, because I can't find the Long Island iced tea. I'm sorry. All right. One glass and some ice. Got some rye whiskey. Oh, more whiskey. One dash. There we go. Sugar syrup. There we go. Uh, bitters. There we go. Very carefully. And an orange twist. Uh, no, it doesn't need to be stirred. Okay. There you go. One old fashioned. I do like a Long Island iced tea, but I didn't see it in the list. You would not call it a white Russian, but you drink a lot of Kahlua and milk all day and take naps. Yeah, that sounds about right. One white Russian coming up. Because that's what they call it here, apparently. Would actually be nice to make after the stream. Oops, I poured a little bit too much vodka. I'm sure that's very bad for you. Oh, let me see, 15. Cream. Uh, sorry, how much? Also 15. And then we stir. And then we add cinnamon stick and a small straw. There you go. <laughs> hey, Rasco. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> a little bit too much vodka. Yeah, I didn't think there would be complaints. All right, who, who, who has requests? Let me see, is there like something interesting I haven't tried yet? That's a lot of ingredients, but not really interesting. Americano. AMF? Okay, I haven't tried that one yet, actually. In the meantime, people can make requests and chat. Wow, that's a lot of ingredients. Um, wait, hold, hold. Yeah, this is a Collins glass, actually. I thought I picked up a highball, but it's just a little bit smaller. Dinner. All right, so it's um, it's all fifteen, pretty much. It's so little; it's hard to pour. 
Okay, then we got the... Let's do it in order, because it's a lot. White rum. Tequila Blanco. No, that's gin. Oh, that was too much. Let's see. Um, blue curacao. A little bit of orange in there. 60 milliliter sour mix. Uh, which one is the sour mix? Oh, there we go. Lime soda? This looks like something I wouldn't like. <laughs> it's very sour. I don't like sour. Okay, and then a lemon wheel? No, that's a lime wheel. That's a lemon wheel. And a large straw. I think that's the first time I used the large straw. There you go. Doesn't look nearly as nice as in the picture, though. <laughs> I, it does seem like a variation on Long Island, but not really, because it's a very different flavor profile. Quantum theory level. <laughs> yeah, I would knock your hair out. Um, AMF? No, I don't know what that stands for, actually. Okay, so that's just a white version without cream, then. Oh! Hello! Flaming Supercar! There we go. Let me see. I haven't made a flaming cocktail yet. Let's try that. Okay, so first a shaker. Then we got some blue curacao. Coffee liqueur. Um... Oh, over no, that's whiskey cream. There you are. Then the whiskey cream. Just so I don't mix it up. Sambuca. Oh, I do like Sambuca. Where are you? There you are. Okay, so then we shake it, we pour it into a cocktail glass, a weird color. Okay, then we get the lighter, and we light it up, and we add a small straw in the fire. That doesn't sound like a good idea, but okay. There you go. That's actually a pretty good screenshot right there. Nice. Flame on! Exactly. <laughs> well, to be fair, they call, you know, different cocktails can have... The same cocktail can have different names. <laughs> Burning plastic is completely fine here, I'm sure. All right, any uh, requests? What's a cur? Oh, okay, just wine with crème de cassis. We've got some martinis. The monkey gland. Uh, wait, what, what does it stand for? I, I don't see you saying what it stands Oh, adios. <laughs> okay, yeah, no, I see it now. Gonna get my straw well done. Sure, I'll get right on that. Mai Tai. Do they have a Mai Tai? Yes, we do. Oh, boy. Okay, it needs to be shaken, and it needs a lot of... 
decorations. No problem. Uh, where's the white rum? There you are. A dark rum? Please let that next to each other. Nope, of course not. That would make sense. Okay, where did they hide the... Yeah, here we go. A dark rum. Whoa, that was not good. Sorry. Now we don't get blue curacao, we get orange curacao. I have no idea what the difference in taste is between those two, actually. Oh, one more book. There we go. Um, lime juice. 60 mils. Two more books. Almond syrup. Alright. And that goes into... Oh wait. I've... Oh, don't shake it again. <laughs> I forgot to pour ice in my hot ball. There you go. No, I couldn't find the Singapore sling. <laughs> Don't shake it again. Put it down. Put it down. There we go. Alright, what are we adding? Add a cherry. Add a lime wheel. Pineapple wedge. A cocktail umbrella. Um, oh, here. And a medium straw. One my type. All done. There you go. A mudslide. Let me see. Uh, no. I'm curious. Oh, champagne with oranges. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. No, not a mudslide. Sorry. Her bar should be named more boobs. You get a few more boobs per drink. Not that. You're not wrong. And we're almost up to 50 likes. You guys are awesome. Oh yeah, you have those drinks that are a bit sweet. And it drinks like lemonade. And it just hits you in the head. Like, boom. We have been through this snowball. Electric cure with a lemonade. That's a weird combo. What's a stinger? Cognac with creme de menthe. Yeah, doesn't sound bad. Yellow bird. The white wine. Alright, well we have seen most of the cocktails now. I think I'm gonna wrap it up here. It's almost 4 a.m., but I had a good time. I like this game. I like it a lot. If I play it again, I'll continue with the, the storyline. It's fun. There's people you meet, and there's a lot more bars we can go to, like grow into and such. But uh, yeah. Today's been good. Now it's time to get my own drink. <laughs> well, thanks for hanging out with me and. Uh, requesting uh, cocktails yeah we can't let that one through Louis <laughs> sorry you can't do that no don't do it pretty much will kill him <laughs> oh fine <laughs> since since streamlabs allowed it I'll make it here how about that uh, and everyone can read that okay I'm not saying it out loud just in case all right Collins glass got a last second request Uh, yeah, all the, everything goes into the glass? Yes. Just checking, I don't need to shake it. Got some peach schnapps. That's this one. One more boop. There we go. <laughs> Orange juice. 
No, that's apple. That one's on. What is that? Be my note. Then we get the cranberry. Yeah, this is also one of those drinks that just gonna hit you in the head afterwards because a nice fruit juice and a buff. <laughs> Cherry, got my, uh, orange wheel, yes. Large straw, and a nice umbrella. There you go, on the beach. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna be really it. There you go, last minute request. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you for almost 50 likes. You guys are awesome. Derby run. I will see you all very soon. Uh, I am planning on tomorrow, however. I'm going to pick up my new kitty tomorrow. It's been confirmed. So, no problems. <laughs> you know. Reality here. Thank you all for watching. I'll be on the Discord as always if you want to come hang out. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We talk about games and uh, have some fun. Come check it out. And so, uh, let me just move the Discord in there. The button's still not working. There we go. I like I like this game a lot. I especially like the storyline. Because, you know, you, you meet weird, weird people. I like it. <laughs> Good night, everyone. I hope you have a great weekend. I'll see you next time.